Once again this morning, doubts over the delayed Tokyo 2020 Olympics. The venues are ready and the Japanese government overnight denying a report in a British newspaper that it is considering cancellation. Japan's Olympic organizers saying some news reports circulating today are claiming that the government of Japan has privately concluded that the Olympic and Paralympic Games Tokyo 2020 will have to be cancelled. This is categorically untrue. But Japanese hospitals are close to collapse, with almost 5,000 new coronavirus infections on Monday. And Tokyo is under a state of emergency, with new infectious strains detected. Japan's Prime Minister insisting we will be well prepared on antivirus measures. We are confident about delivering the Games this summer. A spokesperson for the Games telling NBC News they will decide on spectator numbers in the spring. Uh, we are not uh, willing to see the Games taking place uh, behind the closed doors. Uh, we are hoping to see the Games uh, in their uh, celebration atmosphere uh, by accommodating as many spectators as possible. Five times Olympic gold medalist Katie Ledecky is trying to stay focused. It's been a little crazy, but I've been very focused on the Olympics and just planning as though they're happening and, and really training with, with that in mind. Cancellation would be a huge financial blow to Japan, the world's third largest economy. One report this week says the Games have cost more than $3.7 billion. But Katie Ledecky says if they can't safely be held, she'll stay positive. I'm going to be swimming for a good while still, I think. Uh, I, I definitely want to swim through 2024, uh, the Olympics there. And then, you know, the Olympics in 2028 are in Los Angeles and... That's uh, pretty appealing as, as an athlete to have a home Olympics. But for this year, millions of fans are left waiting to see whether the summer will bring something to cheer about. Yeah, uh, boy, Katie's got the right attitude there, Kier. So uh, we're yeah. six months from the Olympics today. So when will the final, final decision be made as to whether or not the Olympics will go on? Well, Hodo, I think a crucial date to watch is March the 25th. That's when the Olympic torch will set off in northern Japan. Four months later, it will arrive uh, in Tokyo. Remember, it was late March last year that they postponed uh, the Olympics. The challenge is the headache for organisers with an event as big as this, Hodo, as we have discovered through bitter experience, is that if infections just move so fast. Hoda? Yeah, indeed. All right, Kier, uh, thank you so much. And by the way, guys, we're going to talk... Uh, to Simone Biles in a little yeah. bit, have a live interview with her. She's training as if sure. the Olympics are happening, so I look forward to catching up with her. Yeah, we talked about the health considerations and the safety considerations and the financial impact, but for athletes yeah. like Simone, yeah. they've been literally training their entire yeah. lives. Yeah. Your heart goes out to them. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.